Um, so, you know, introduce yourself. Okay. Uh, I'm LaRonda Davis. I'm the president of the Black Rock Coalition. I'm also on the board of directors for Willamette Rock Camp for Girls. Okay. I would like to throw that in. Um, so, some your thoughts about being involved in this panel today? Wow. I mean, the Black Rock Coalition, our mission is to celebrate the best in black musicianship and artistry. And Sekou really embodied everything that we're about. So it's just really, um, really impressive one that an organization like MAP International also found the value in doing a series of events like this from April to October. Um, and then the fact that we could be part of it because Sekou was a, a Black Rock Coalition member. So um, it's kind of bringing it full circle and, and really, you know, everybody coming together to support someone who so deserves it. Okay. Um, any specific words about Sekou? I mean, you spoke about him a little bit now, but like yeah. if you think about his legacy and who he was uh, and what he did. Wow. But see, Sekou, he... He spanned so many things. Like, you know, I'm not really a spoken word type, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I appreciate writing, I appreciate lyrics, I appreciate poetry, but sometimes spoken word misses for me. You know, sometimes it's more pretense than actual content. And what Seku did was, you know, you would watch him and you would just be like, in it. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't like you were hearing someone deliver something to you, you were feeling what he was trying to tell you. And, I mean, that was just really powerful. Like, um, he did. We, the Black Rock Coalition Orchestra did a black exploitation show at Prospect Park back in, I don't know, it was like 97, 98. And he did a version of Shaft that was just like, who, why hadn't Shaft been done like that before? And when you think of such an iconic song, it's like, you don't want to mess up Shaft because people have it in their heads as to what it's supposed to be. But he totally flipped it. And all of a sudden it was this new, you know, like he was like, where are you, Shaft? Like, we need a black superhero cop in our neighborhoods, but where are you? All of this stuff is happening, and where are you? So, I mean, that was really deep. And then, um, you know, he also did, we did a tribute to Ray Charles at Symphony Space, and we called it Ray Rocks. I think that was back in, like, 2007, maybe, something like that. And, well, maybe it was 2006. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm shaky on the dates, but... um. You know, and again, it was just this stately presence, and it was, you know, thinking of Ray Charles, you don't think of a spoken word artist, because Sekou was more than a spoken word artist. He's more than a poet. He was a, a performer and someone who, who really just transcended all of those different types of things. Um, anything else, words as an artist, uh, you want to add to? No, I think, I mean, you know, it's uh, another another brilliant thing about Seku and something that we celebrate in general um, is just the fact that he didn't limit himself. He wasn't, you know, like you couldn't just say he was a poet. You couldn't just say he was a spoken word artist. He didn't just do poetry. He didn't just do spoken word. He did plays. He did, you know, he did uh, performances. He did, he wrote, he sang, he, you know, brought a didgeridoo. Like who does that? You know what I'm saying? Like him and Craig Harris working together to just really elevate what, was the expectation of, you know, black artists, black artists from, from New York, you know, just like making it bigger than any of those things. So. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>